Today on Live Experiments, we're going to be looking at how to make a Van de Graaff generator out of household stuff. Now, you might not know what a Van de Graaff generator is, but basically it's an electrostatic machine. And that might not help some of you, but think back to when you were at school, or you might be at school and think back to this science lesson that happened. It happened from almost everyone. And this big metal lollipop looking thing was brought out about this sort of size and usually a girl from the class was selected to come up to the front stand on a stool put her hands on this lollipop and her hair would go up in the air that is a van de graaff generator to do this you will need um, a two litre plastic pop bottle empty some round-ish pencils some electrical wire some ptfe tape or teflon tape a bunch of other tape, anything you've got lying around will do. A spoon, a pair of scissors, some balloons, a drill, and a round metal object, anything you've got lying around, like be it a pan or a salad bowl. So let's make our homemade Van de Graaff generator. The first thing we need to do is get our two litre plastic pot bottle. And this is gonna be the housing for our Van de Graaff generator. So the first thing we do, take the scissors, and we're just gonna cut around the base to open it up. Take your two pencils, and these are made of wood, which is quite important. I'll come to that in a bit. And basically, we just wanna put our pencils through the plastic bottle. They are gonna act as our pulleys, basically. But between the two pulleys, we need a belt. So, I thought if I just slice a bit out the middle of this balloon, then it will make a nice, round bit of rubbery material. There is something called the Tribo Electric Series. And basically, that's just all the materials in the world ever put in order of how much they want to get electrons or how much they want to give up electrons, right? Right at the bottom, you've got the most negative. So that's the ones that want to have electrons, want to gain electrons from all around them. And then you've got neutral steel in the middle. And then at the top, you have got the most positive ones so the ones that want to give up electrons. So basically what we need to do is make sure that our pulleys, we have one from the negative part of the series and one from the upper part of the series. From the upper part, from the positive, we've got wood, because our pencil is made of wood. So from the bottom, I was looking and I thought, why don't we just go for the most negative? So why don't we just go for Teflon? Now you might think that Teflon, it's quite hard. Yeah, it's stuck to your frying pans, but you can't really get it in its raw form. Well, you'd be wrong. You can get this tape, which is PTFE tape. And PTFE is just the chemical name for Teflon. We're gonna rotate this lower pencil. This lower pencil is positive in the triboelectric series, which means it gives up its electrons, right? So this lower pencil is gonna be giving up electrons onto the belt. The belt is then going to carry these electrons up. Now this upper pulley wants to accept electrons. So this upper pulley becomes really, really, really negative. Now, at the moment, fair enough, that, that upper pulley becomes negative, but then it's not really affecting anything. So we basically need to pop a wire in and that will feed off that charge that's collecting there and feed it up to this dome, which we're gonna put on top. So I want this wire to go under here and stick up there. So you've got your wire from your bottom pulley and we want the other end of that wire. And all you do is wrap it around your spoon. And so we insulate that end. And the way we do that is um, with another balloon. So you've got negative pan and positive spoon. So when you put them next to each other, the charge is gonna jump from one to the other and hopefully we'll see that as a spark. Oh, I heard it, I heard it. You might not have seen it. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's take the lights down a bit. Yay! 
Did you see that one? Okay, pick it up again. So, after hours of hair drying the belt, of adjusting the brushes, all we managed to get out of my Van de Graaff was a little spark that we could hear. Yay! Did you see that one? Okay. So, try it. Trust me, it does work in a dry room. Um, without, no offence, 20 sweaty people. And um, it will work. And so I'm going to say this is a sort of success. And this is how you make a Van de Graaff generator that sometimes works out of household stuff. And if you tried this experiment at home, why not um, tell us how you got on in the comments below? <laughs>